Hi everyone! Okay, so today I am doing a quick tip. Um, I am going to show you how to print labels off for your palettes or any of your other organizational needs. If you're not blessed with amazing calligraphy skills like I am, then you can just use the fonts from your computer to print them off. What I used was um, these Avery labels here for print or write. They're three quarter inch round labels and it's 02102 and it specifies that it is for print. I think that the some of the other ones that are round, three quarter inch round, um, maybe the actual card is not large enough for your printer or something. Um, yeah, and it just specifies on here 5472 that is the template to use. So yeah, let's get this started. So the program I'm using is Design Pro. This is an app. This is for Mac, obviously. Um, however, they also have a Windows version available on Avery.com. Uh, you can also use Microsoft Word. However, when I opened it up, I could not find the template that I needed. So um, I had to download this program. And this program actually is pretty nice because it's very customizable and they have a lot of fun features in it. Whereas Word is very standard and basic, mostly made for um, mailing labels and things like that. So I have the program open. And this is what it looks like. <clears throat> um, the labels that I'm going to be using are other labels and they are 5472. So you can also just type 5472 in here and it'll bring it up like that. Now um, you can ha choose to have all your labels the same or you can choose to print off um, individual labels and that's what I want so I choose use blank and there we go so you can select which label you want to create this is good because um, you know if you've already printed off a couple labels and you have a sheet you know you can select the labels that you still have on the sheet that you want to print on so you don't waste a whole sheet of labels so anyways, this is the label here. So select text and I'll place something there, double click on that and then you can type in the name of the eyeshadow or whatever it is you want to label. So let's say I will choose Parfait Amour. And then if you want to customize the font, you just double click on it and select the font that you want. Braden is the font that I like to use. And then you can select the font size. Try to make it bigger. So 12 point font. And there we go. And then you can go on by selecting the other labels that you want to make. Once you have finished creating all your labels, then you just go File, Print. And there's my little label there. Um, my printer already knew the size of the sheet and everything. Um, some printers may need to be calibrated, so the program suggests that you print off a test page first and then print off your labels. However, mine is fine with that. So you just go print and we'll see what it turns out to look like. So this is what it looks like when you print it off. Um, these are ones I actually didn't like because they're a six point font. I prefer a 10 point font. And so you can just stick it to the back of your palette or the lid of your palette and there you go. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little tip and I hope you find it useful and I'll talk to you guys later.